Hey peeps! Look at how cute this wallpaper is. Cute! Very modern, contemporary. And they're like, oh, Teresa, where are you? Okay, well, I am in Dallas, Texas. I am here for a wedding. So, decided, you know, I'm not gonna just go to the airport, set at the airport, fly in. By the time I do all that, I could drive up here. So, three hours later, drove up here. And so I have a wedding to go to tonight. This is a good friend of mine. I uh, used to work with her back in my Bally Total Fitness days, 20 some years ago here in Dallas. And uh, her daughter is such a sweetheart and she's getting married. And so she wanted her long lost Aunt Teresa. <laughs> I, I say Aunt Teresa. I'm like a second mom, I think. But anyways, um, so left Carolina at home with Lamar and the dogs. So she is babysitting so I could come up here and go to the wedding real fast. So I am ironing a dress. Yes, I had it hung in a garment bag and it still got wrinkled. So I am doing a quick iron on it real fast. I've got about a little over an hour, almost an hour and a half before I've got to leave for um, the wedding. I'm gonna Uber so I can have a cocktail. Um, I always hate being in, I mean, I remember living here, but I don't remember my way around that well. So I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be drinking and driving. So we'll just be Ubering. So anyways, going to get ready for this wedding. And uh, we're going to jump into a uh, motivational Monday. Whether I do it here or in the car, going back home, or when I get back home. Not sure yet, but motivational Monday in this video. Stay tuned. Here at Chelsea's wedding, getting ready to go in. How cool is this? How cool. People are standing out here. It's very refreshing. How cute is this? You've got to find your name so you know what table you're sitting at. Very cute. Oh, there's my name. I found it. Okay, Miss Teresa Romer, you're at table 16. So I'm inside right now, but I'm looking outside. This is where the wedding is going to take place. How beautiful is this? I don't know if I'm going to be able to film once I'm out there, but it's so pretty and it's not raining hallelujah so yay oh my god it's so pretty look at that look at that how beautiful is that wow okay let's get on with this badass wedding okay they're out there singing so pretty Chelsea. Together, we are a group of the most important people in their lives. And they brought us here to publicly recognize that we all played some special part in the love they share today. This day is made possible not only because your love for each other, but through the grace of God and support of your family and friends. Now, I have personally witnessed how deeply these two care and love each other. And I'm humbled and honored to be here tonight, for this amazing chance to marry two of my friends. Together in the covenant of marriage, you promise to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Jordan and Chelsea, as you hold your hands, may you see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. Now, we're going to do the exchange of the rings. 
vested in me. It is my honor to now announce you, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. That's the kind of fountain I need in my uh, pond. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just checked out of the hotel. It is a beautiful day here in Dallas, Texas. The wedding was beautiful. And now we've got to figure out how we're going to get out of here. Ah. Hey, peeps. So I hope you enjoyed getting a little glimpse of my little time in Dallas at my girlfriend's daughter's wedding. That was a picture of her at the very end, me and her, Billy. She's such a hoot. I was her boss 20 some years ago at the wedding. She just, here, this was my boss. Here, this was my boss. I've talked about you all the time. So it was, it was cute to catch up and everything. But anyways, um, I really wanted to do this video um, actually, when I got back to the hotel room after the wedding, but I couldn't bring myself to do it because I had just learned that a friend of mine who I've worked with in network marketing, um, she passed away. And 
that was hard um, because she was only 34. And Jesse Lee was a badass, kick-ass boss. I mean, like, she was phenomenal. She was at the top of her game always. I met her in 2017, and uh, we were both with Prove It. And um, it, really, it really hurt. Even though we weren't close friends, we worked together. Um, and it's not like we worked in the same room or the same office or any of that, but we worked for the same company. Um, and so, and she's only 34. That's my daughter's age. And it just really hit me because about a month ago, I was watching another one of my friend's uh, YouTube channels, Ed Mila, and he had her on there. And unbeknownst to most of us, we didn't even realize that she was battling stage four colon cancer. And so I'm watching this video and I find this out and I'm like, oh my God, like what the hell? But if you were to watch the video, like all of us did, it sounded like she was gonna kick it. Like she, she was not going to do the traditional chemo and all of that. She was going to go untraditional and really think outside the box and, and really do stuff to heal her body. And I would watch her on Instagram every day. And she seen, she would come back with just amazing comments like she was doing better and the doctors are saying everything's looking good and... So it, it, it just hit me when they said she passed away yesterday. I was just like, what the hell? And I'm telling you, I'm sorry, guys. I'm telling you, you just have to wake up every day and give it your all. And the, and the reason she chose to do the untraditional was because if she was to do the traditional chemo and all that, they said that they could probably give her possibly two and a half years, but her life would be crap. But if she chose the unconventional, untraditional way, she would be dead uh, before Christmas. She would be dead before October. And so she chose the uncondition unconditional, the untraditional way. And she had the money to hire the best doctors in the world and do all of these treatments. I'm gonna link the video down below in the description box of the video that she did with Ed Milet when she talked about this. And I'm telling you guys, the, the video is so moving that I had to actually listen to it again today on my drive back from Dallas. To listen to her voice again and listen to her optimism and to listen to her talk about what is not important in life and what is important. And she said, you know, if, if, it, if it's not gonna mean anything in five years, then don't give it five minutes worth of time, you know? And and I'm, I'm happy to say that she chose her way of going out instead of doing the chemo and everything. Because yeah, they were gonna keep her alive for two and a half years, but her life was gonna be shit. And that's not Jesse Lee's way. Jesse Lee's way is to be a badass boss bitch and she lived her life the last six months that she got to live she lived her life the way she wanted to live it and she got up every day and she put her makeup on and she looked her best and she did her instagram and she did her youtube and she did her coaching and she went out the way she wanted to go out she went out strong and healthy and doing what she still loved instead of laying in a hospital bed, wasting away from chemotherapy 
Now, believe me, guys, I'm not anti-chemo. I'm not anti-doctor or everything, but, but when she weighed her choices, she decided the choice of living a fulfilling six months was far more important than living two and a half years of a crap life. So I hope you get a chance to click on the link in the description box and watch that video of her and Ed. Um, she was actually scheduled to talk here in Houston, November 14th at a motivational seminar and she's not gonna be here. But anyways, I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about, and I'm sorry I'm such a mess, but I owe it to you guys to do my video because I'm supposed to do my videos three times a week. And sometimes when you just don't think you can do it, you have to, you just have to pull up yourself with your bootstraps and say, I have obligations, I have duties. But the motivational Monday part of this video is live your life guys and live it with no, gr I'll guarantee you on her last breath, that girl had no regrets. I'm, I'm telling you she had no regrets because she, she went out the way she wanted to go out. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm, she was such an icon. I mean, look her up on Instagram. She is, I am boss Lee. Uh, I think she's the same on, on YouTube, but, um, she, she's a shining star. She was an icon, but it just, she just, that, that video resonated with me. Um, because it's true guys. Um, you just have to, you know, we all think that we're not going to die, but we are every single one of us and the and the days are just ticking away to when it's going to be our time and and it's so sad that she got a diagnosis of stage four colon cancer non-curable that was going to kill her in six months but it, it was like if if you were given the choice that you were only going to have six months left to live what would you do and i guarantee you she did everything her way and she makes us all remember that life is so precious. Life is short, life is precious, and you need to, if there if there's anything on your list that you are thinking about doing, you need to just damn well do it because there is no promise that you're gonna be here tomorrow. There is no promise that you're gonna be here next month or next year. We all hope we are, but there are no promises. And And just like in the video, you know, Sure, she could have sat around and asked God, why me? Why me? You know, I'm in the prime of my life. Why me? But she said, why not me? She says, I'm a badass. And so he handed me a badass cancer. I just hope you guys watch the video. Because she just, it, what she says in that video explains so much. And hopefully it gives you a new perspective on life from a dying person's perspective. And and while she was doing that video, by no means does she talk or act like she's dying. But in reality, that was a month ago, she was. But um, I just can't stress enough the importance of living every single day like it could be your last day. And making the most of your life because you don't want to be that person that's handed the six month this is what you got left and be sitting there with all these regrets because you wasted your life being safe not taking any chances not going after your dreams not going after what you want instead you played it safe and then when it comes time for you to be on that deathbed are you going to be laying there saying, you know what? I'm so happy. I did it all. Cause I'll guarantee you she, that's what she said. That's what she said. She said, I did it all. I gave it my all. I did my all. And I touched so many people's lives and she did. She did. So guys, I would love for this video to be much longer and much more entertaining, but I'm definitely not in the right frame of mind. Um, 
but I don't want to leave you with a Debbie Downer. Um, I've lost a lot of close people in my life, including my son and my brother and my two fathers and some really, really close friends um, and dear friends and, and, and friends that impacted my life like Jesse Lee did. I don't know a person that Jesse Lee didn't touch because she had a huge... I think she had like 1.76 million people she was coaching in this world even. I mean, like she was just phenomenal. So if I leave you with anything, it's just cherish your life. You know, when I was younger, I, I think I thought life was just gonna go on forever magically until I was 100. And the older I've gotten, I've come to realize that and especially when you lose close family members or, or you know, your children, like I've lost my son and my brother, you, you tend to realize when they leave at such a young, early age, that God doesn't wait until you're old and decrepit and worn out. God can take you any time. It's his plan. It's his, it's his, you know, he planned for you to come and he's planning for us to leave. So we're just, we're just here doing his work. So anyways, I just love you guys so much. I thank each and every single one of you for following me and, and supporting me. And I promise Wacky Wednesday is going to be all kinds of fun and ranch updates and, and everything that's going on in my life. But today was just a very or this weekend, I should just say, this weekend, just hard. When I got that news in in Dallas, um, it, it was hard to even just be at the wedding and smile and be happy because I got the news right when I was pulling into Dallas and she lives in Dallas or lived. So, but once again, when you have obligations, you, you follow through with the obligations no matter how hard it is at the moment to do it. So with that said, guys, Live your best life. Just get out of your own way and just do it. Because remember, even if you fail, at least you were trying. And if you don't ever try, you'll never know. You'll never know. So with that said, guys, love you, love you, love you. Thank you for your subscribing to my videos. Thank you for following me. Some of you have been following me for many, many, many years. Um, but on a good note, I just do need to remind you guys of Fashion Woodlands that is coming up. Um, we're working diligently on putting together a fantastic show for you guys. So make sure you get over to TeresaRomer.com, hit on events, and purchase your Fashion Woodlands ticket. They are going like hotcakes once they found everybody found out they were selling. Here we go. Here we go. And remember, the, the show does sell out, so you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you get your ticket. Um, we are going to be picking two Hey Peeps from the Hey Peeps on YouTube. So if you are a Hey Peeps follower or a Peeps follower on YouTube, uh, we will be picking two of you to attend um, this extravaganza. And also if you watch me uh, and, and, and if you are a Vault member in the Vault, we're going to be picking two of you from the Vault that will get to come to the extravaganza also. So a total of four peeps will be attending the extravaganza and we cannot wait to pick and let you guys know who you guys are so that you can plan to be here. Also, make sure you are nominating yourself or nominating someone else for the Houston Style Icons because we are shining a spotlight on those of you that are so incredibly fashionable here in Houston. So make sure you get over there and get in there because there's amazing prizes for that as well as you will be walking in fashion woodlands accepting your award on the runway so if you're one of the two people that will win in the houston style icons you're going to want to get in there and nominate yourself or nominate somebody else somebody's gonna win so with that said guys love you love you love you stay safe and live out your life guys live out your life it's the only one you've got until next time, bye-bye.